So, boy, army, how are we doing today? Here, another spicy one. I'm continuing the theme of how to improve at FIFA. I mean, the whole channel's dedicated to improving at FIFA, but this particular series where we're looking at gold players, elite players. Today's video, we looked yesterday at the mistakes gold players make, but today we're going to look at the things that elite players do that are good. The things that not only that you need to avoid as a gold player to get to elite, but some of the things you might need to be doing to actually take yourself to the next level. This video is going to be dedicated to that. I'm going to show you some of my gameplay and highlight some of the higher level stuff that elite players do to help you get to the next level. This channel is always dedicated to helping you guys improve at FIFA. All my content is based around that. I'd really appreciate if you enjoy this type of content, you want to improve at the game, that you subscribe to the channel. Every day at 7 o'clock, not tonight because I had a few things earlier, but every day around that time anyway, there's going to be a video going live dedicated to helping you guys improve the game from tactical advice to gameplay tutorials to player advice. This channel is made for you guys to improve at the game. I appreciate all the support you guys shown so far, the likes, the comments. It really does mean the world. I'd really appreciate if you like this type of content, you subscribe to the channel. But today, as we said, what do elite players do that separates them from gold players? How do they get to the next level? This video is going to show you five things that elite players do that can take you to another level on FIFA. The first one, as we started with yesterday on the video about what gold players don't do right, we're going to look at elite players, what they do right with team. The first one is they pick meta teams. So, by the way, tomorrow's video after this, we're going to do a top 100 player. So we've gone from what gold players don't do to what elite players do. Tomorrow's video, I hit a 30 and 0 this week in league. I'm going to show you what a top 100 player does, some of the higher level things that top 100 players do that can separate them and make them the top players in the game. Um, which means also we're going to have some sick rewards coming this week. But anyway, what elite players do? Team. They build meta teams. So every player in this team does a good job for the position. Keeper, obviously, I've got one of the best keepers in the game. My fullbacks both have 90 plus pace, very high physicals, and good on the ball. My centre backs, I mean, Bakayoko plays centre back in this team, and Wan Bissaka goes to full back. But um, the centre backs are quick, very strong, good on the ball. Um, my CDMs are Henderson and Trent, quick, very good physically, very good passing, pretty good on the ball, both can shoot. My cam and striker is Ben Yedder and Neymar, five star, five star with Neymar and the five star weak foot on Ben Yedder. Everyone in my attack other than Cornet has four star skill moves so they can do the scoop turn, do some of the tricks I teach you guys to do. But furthermore, I have three five star weak foots in the attack, which completely changes how I attack. I find I can go into a lot of games and I already know that I've won the game by looking at the team because they might have an expensive team worth way more than mine, but they build a team that's just stupid and not meh. It doesn't always mean that, but generally I can just tell by the team if it's going to be an easy game or not. If I saw a team like mine, I would probably expect it's going to be pretty tough because they've built a very meta team. Having a meta team that just suits the game and suits the tactics will instantly elevate you to another level. I don't like sometimes using some of the players that I have to use, but it's just what works on this game. And I will always teach you guys how to get good at the game, what works. Part of the team is having the right tactics in place. Elite players don't just are not one-dimensional. They don't just stick to one idea. When they're winning, they have a tactic like the ultra-defensive one, the 4-2-3-1-2 two, two that I've got here. Normal tactic to play with. Then my ultra-attacking, the 4-4-2. They've got that type of things ready to use in the game. I don't find when I'm playing an elite player that if they're losing by two, they just play the same way. They'll start to press me. I notice the difference. They've got a few things up their sleeves to change their mind. Gold players, they just stick to one way of playing a lot of the time. And if it isn't working, they don't change. So team advice, going for the meta team, players that suit the game, and having new tactics to change you. That's what elite players do that gold players don't. Let's get into some gameplay. The second point that we're going to talk about here is an incredibly simple one. But it's one of the most vital ones in the game. Elite players keep the ball. They control games. They keep possession. Look at what happens here. This is actually the opponent I was playing against who I lost this game in champs a few weeks ago. Um, I think I finished on 28 or 29 that week. 
but the guy I lost to is an elite player. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff he does. Here, a lot of people there would just force the ball down the line. Or go there and force the ball to the middle. Not this guy. He is an elite player. He's recycling possession. Okay, sometimes I get close to tackling him, but a lot of the time, you see there, I got close to it, but he still maintains the possession. He doesn't force the ball forward or try to turn himself into danger. He goes backwards and he keeps the ball. He's kept the ball here for quite a long time. That was about four minutes. A bit of a bad pass in the end, but ultimately, he's playing against a top 100 player. A lot of people in this position would have given the ball away a lot earlier. He used a lot of different techniques to keep the ball. Left stick dribbling, ball rolls, one-twos, shielding. Most gold players would have given the ball away far earlier there. If you give the ball away, that means one, you can't score, and two, your opponent can score. If you don't give the ball away, that means one, you can score, and two, your opponent can't. Controlling the game, having a higher pass accuracy, a hallmarks of an elite player. You'll find most of the time against an elite player, it's hard to control the tempo of the game against them because they're locked in and they make it hard to get the ball off them. Possession, I'm not telling you to time waste around the back. This guy wasn't doing that. But possession is key on this game. If you don't keep the ball well on this game and keep giving it back to your opponent, you are going to really struggle and lose a lot of games that you really shouldn't be. Number three, elite players make use of set pieces. On goal kicks, they don't just boot the ball up long. By the way, when I talk about these tips as well, I'm not saying an elite player will always do this and a goal player will never do this. Obviously, that's not exactly how it works. But I'm just talking about the general trends I see. I've coached 300 plus people in the last two years, many different ranks from all the way from 30 you know, players to people who don't play weekly to gold and elite. If you're interested in coach session, by the way, message me on Twitter or Instagram. Link's in the description below. But elite players, I find, they take the set pieces way more effectively. They're not taking um, corners just whipping it into the box aimlessly. They're not losing the ball from goal kicks. They don't lose it on throw-ins. This is a goal I concede here in this game. You can see here, he takes the corner short. On FIFA 20, never, ever cross it into the box unless it is past injury time and you've got no other choice. You should always take your corners short into this game. The elite players will know that. Work on opportunities. The patterns won't always be the same. But look for an opportunity, something that's going to work. You can see there is De Bruyne makes some space. Corners are almost like kickoffs on this game, where you just get a bit of a boost. Is De Bruyne finds some space, works a good opening. From there, he's scored. I find so many goal players when I do the analysis, they're just losing the ball on goal kicks, throw ins, and on corners, they just cross it into the box. That is not a wise way to control the game. That is not how you're going to make a better chance. Also, as well, elite players will know how to take free kicks. If you're struggling on set pieces, watch one of my set piece tutorials. If you just YouTube, Zaloni set piece tutorial is there. I talk about all the set pieces. But however, then you can see from there, elite players take advantage of set pieces and it makes a big difference. You could get an extra three to four, maybe five, maybe even more goals a weekend by taking set pieces right. I scored four free kicks in five games this weekend because I know how to take free kicks. Using set pieces effectively will get you those few extra wins that you might be holding that might be holding you back from being an elite player. One thing elite players do that I find when I do analysis, this isn't quite something all elite players do consistently. One of the biggest things that we'll probably talk about on tomorrow's video between elite and top 100 is top 100 players do this far more consistently, but elite players punish mistakes far more. Than gold players. I find a lot of gold players when they get something gifted to them, they don't necessarily take advantage of it. Elite players are really good at doing this. You watch here. I never made this pass. That pass there to um, that, I was trying to aim over there. But regardless, that happened, gave my opponent the ball, and made me a bit of a crazy pass, but he saw an opening. He got a chance out of nowhere and he took advantage of it. Made a pass that went through. And furthermore, that near post there is what most people would shoot, but it wasn't open. He took advantage of the far post being open and scored a goal from it. I felt I was quite unfortunate there, but sometimes on the game, you will get random stuff like that happen where people get gifted chances. A gold player probably would never capitalise on scoring that. This elite player did, 
and it put him 3-1 ahead. Like I say, we'll talk more about top 100 players and how they do that tomorrow. But spotting a weakness, spotting a moment of stupidity in the game where you can capitalise and take advantage is key. And elite players do that so much more effectively than goal players, I find. Goal players, if they could capitalise on the mistakes that their opponents make and take advantage, would be far better. And this is one of the big things that, when I analyse games, stop people from getting that win. That they don't adjust quick enough to a mistake and take advantage. Fifth and final point, and potentially the most important in this whole video, is elite players know what to do around the box. One of the biggest skill gap separators on this FIFA in particular, where there's not a really meta way of scoring. Last year you had the scooped up crosses, volleys, headers. There's not really a way on this game other than shooting near post, but it's hard to get there, to score a goal. There's not really a massive way that you're like, when I'm coaching people, like, okay, do this, do that, do that, and you'll score. There's a few different things we can talk about. Quick passing, being patient, finding the space, the different skill moves. But elite players generally have a variety of ways of scoring. They're not consigned. Consigned? I'm not even sure that's the right word. They're not restricted to only one way of attacking. It's not like if this trick doesn't work, they've got nothing else. Or if someone blocks the type of shot they want, that's all they've got. They have a variety of ways of attacking. This was a goal I got to come back into the game. See, a scoop turn. It's quick. Sets up a better angle for the next pass. Nice little pass here. And then here, a lot of people there would just turn and try to shoot near post. That wouldn't have worked though because he was always going to cover there. See, he tries to go down there. And a lot of people here, if they even would shoot, would shoot a finesse. But the finesse just probably doesn't have the power and isn't as consistent. So I know the meta. I know the right shot selection in the box. I hit a power shot. And it's a crazy shot to be fair. But regardless... It goes into the top corner. It was the right shot to do. So many elite players, you find if you give them any sort of opening around the box, they will take advantage. They have a different way of scoring there. It was some good passing, used the right trick, and then used the right shot. I was coaching a goal player today who, honestly, his skills he was brilliant at. And his chance creation, what he was doing, was amazing. But his shot selection when he got there was really bad. And if he can improve that, he will get to elite. Like This guy was really good. Surprised me how good he was. But his shot selection wasn't. So around the box, shot selection, skill moves, waiting for players to make runs. These are some of the things that separate gold players from elite. If you want to get to the next level, team, tactics, uh, what else are the set pieces, keeping the ball better, controlling the game. You want to be aiming for 90 to 95% pass accuracy, so shot selection around the box. These are the type of things that will make you improve at FIFA. These are fundamentals as well that will be the same every FIFA. This channel is not about a quick fix, about just making you good for one FIFA. It's about FIFA proofing you. I'm trying to make you guys far better players in the long run FIFA. Stick with me and you'll be in a good place, boys. I appreciate all the support again. Like I said at the start, please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. We're trying to put more and more spicy content. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at what a top 100 player does. I think that's going to be a great video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow, boys.